Have you ever wondered about the space missions that kept humanity exploring the stars after the space shuttle era? The Soyuz program, a name synonymous with space travel, has been a critical part of human space exploration for over 50 years. But did you know that its first manned flight ended in a tragic disaster? For some historical context, the space race was a pivotal chapter in the Cold War, driving the United States and the Soviet Union to push the boundaries of rocket technology. As both nations vied for dominance, advancements in rocketry were not just about exploration. They were also tied to military power, with the ability to send payloads into space being a clear demonstration of technological superiority. The Soviet Union made significant strides early on with its Vostok and Voskhod programs. In 1961, Vostok 1 made history by sending Yuri Gagarin into orbit, making him the first human to journey into space. This was followed by the Voskhod program, which achieved the first multi-person crew in space and the first spacewalk. These milestones set the stage for the Soyuz program, which aimed to build on these successes and extend the Soviet presence in space. The Soyuz program comprises a launch vehicle and spacecraft, with the rocket featuring three stages and the spacecraft equipped with a crew re-entry vehicle. Initially intended for lunar missions, the spacecraft has undergone significant evolution, culminating in its current role of transporting astronauts to the International Space Station. The early Soyuz test flights were fraught with challenges and setbacks. The first test flight in 1966 aimed to test automated docking, but issues with a secondary vehicle led to an aborted mission and a self-destruct command to prevent landing in China. Subsequent test flights faced ignition failures, causing explosions on the launch pad and guidance problems that resulted in off-target landings and damaged spacecraft. The Soyuz 1 mission was a highly anticipated step for the Soviet space program, aiming to test new spacecraft systems and complete a rendezvous with the yet-to-be-launched Soyuz 2. Launched on April 23, 1967, the mission was crewed by the experienced cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov, a veteran of the Voskhod program. Almost immediately after reaching orbit, Soyuz 1 encountered severe technical problems. One of its solar panels failed to deploy, drastically reducing power and blocking some of the craft's critical navigation sensors. This caused significant issues with maintaining proper orientation and control. As Komarov struggled to stabilize the spacecraft, mission control faced mounting challenges. With battery power dwindling and navigation systems compromised, an urgent decision was made to abort the mission. During the re-entry attempt, further complications arose when the craft's main parachute failed to deploy. Soon, news broadcasts reported that the Soyuz-1 had descended with speed from the orbit. Komarov manually deployed the reserve chute, but it became entangled with the drogue chute, leading to a fatal descent. The Soyuz-1 capsule crashed into the ground at high speed, and the impact, followed by a subsequent fire, tragically claimed Komarov's life. Vladimir Komarov had admitted one night in March 1967 that he could not turn down the assignment. Even though he was aware that his spacecraft was imperfect as it was hastily put together, and that his chances of returning alive were slim, that's why Komarov wanted to open casket funeral so his superiors could see what they had done. His reason was his regard for Yuri Gagarin, the first man on space whom he considered his teacher. Komarov said that if he didn't take the flight, then they'll send the backup pilot Yuri, and he'll die instead of him. And Vladimir wanted to keep the only person he looked up to safe. The Soyuz-1 disaster occurred during a time of intense competition between the United States and the Soviet Union to achieve lunar dominance. The Soviet Union's ambition to beat the U.S. to the moon drove rapid development, and sometimes led to overlooked safety concerns. The tragedy of Soyuz-1 not only highlighted these issues, but also cast a shadow over the Soviet lunar project, contributing to its eventual cancellation. In response to the disaster, extensive improvements were made to the Soyuz program. Engineers focused on enhancing the reliability and safety of the spacecraft, addressing the technical flaws that led to the Soyuz-1 failure. These improvements included better parachute systems, more reliable onboard electronics, and enhanced navigation capabilities. These changes were crucial in restoring confidence in the Soyuz program and ensuring the safety of future missions. The memory of Vladimir Komarov, the brave cosmonaut of Soyuz 1, continues to be honored. Posthumously awarded Hero of the Soviet Union for the second time, 
Komarov's remains were given a state funeral and buried in the Kremlin Wall Necropolis. His legacy reached even further when the crew of Apollo 15 paid tribute by placing a plaque bearing his name on the moon. Komarov's sacrifice and dedication to space exploration are remembered and respected to this day. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Goodbye.